happy Monday to all of you out there in IT land. Welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at OMV Extras, which is an extra package of plugins you can add to Open Media Vault. We'll look at the installation and a couple of the plugins, and we'll have a follow-up video that will get into some other information about these and actually putting them to use. All right, so I've got my OMV running here. This is a new VM I built over the weekend, uh, 172.16.74.184. And if we bring up the web interface, uh, it's been running for six minutes. I haven't done really much with this. I have even enabled file sharing. So let's uh, speed things up a little bit while I take care of a couple of those things. And we'll be back with OMV Extras. So now that some of that pesky housekeeping is done, let's move on to our OMV Extras. So, if you want to get OMV Extras, head to Google, omv-extras.org. You want to grab the version that matches your OMV version, either version 3 or version 4. I went for version 4, stable. If you go to guides, it will tell you. Here's OMV version 4, and you can either download the dev file and put that in the web interface, or you can be a little geekier and you can go ahead and add the repository or excuse me, you can wget the dev file and install it manually. I'm going to choose the first option. I've already downloaded the file, so we're going to come to plugins, upload, browse, and we're going to come to downloads. OMV plugins, select our dev file, open, and OK. Now if we come down here towards the bottom, OMV extras, check the box install and it will go through the install process all right I gotta reload the screen and go back to OMV, actually go to plugins, let's go to OMV extras, and that is stable is enabled, and we've got a few things here like Docker and TeamViewer and fun stuff like that, OMV extras, uh, plugins, so now that we've got that, We've got some extra, should have some extra things here. Uh, let's take a look. Be right back. All right, so I just needed to reload the screen here. Uh, and so we've got things like Duplicati, which when I tried this before, I could not make it work, but 
in another video we'll take a look at that our snapshot which I'm not terribly interested in because uh, Open Media Vault already has rsync built in. So uh, this one here is interesting. You are back up. And let's come down here a little more. Uh, we've got encryption. Snap raid. Uh, I guess that's a typical one included. And yep, some different things down here. I think the UR backup was the biggest one I wanted to take a look at. And of course, VirtualBox plugins for Open Media Vault. That's probably a good one to install since we are running this in VirtualBox. So we'll go ahead and just install those two for the moment. We'll get a little extra performance. Oop, didn't like that. All right, well. Uh, let's do you are backup. Well, I can cut out the previous section. Install. Yes. Plugins. Okay, so we did get that installed. And if we slide down here, we've got UR backup server. We can enable. It tells us which ports it's running on 55, 413 for uh, the base port, 55, 414 for the web port. It'll save the configuration. Yes. And we'll open the web interface. And we're back again. All right. So this is the web interface for UR Backup or Your Backup or however the heck you want to pronounce that. And so there are several things you can do with this. computer here um, so there are several things you can do with this so you need to add clients so I'm going to add my other computer uh, which should be 172.16.74.1 say add client oh and it doesn't like us today well uh, interesting okay so oh it did add it no recent backup uh, no recent image and let's see So basically this software will let you set up um, set up automatic backups from your clients and we can make a number of settings changes here interval for incremental file backups five is good full backups 30 days five days and 30 days N maximum number of incremental file backups we're going to say 25 and we'll say 10 for a minimum 
full file backups. And make that six and two. Save that. And look at image backups. And come in all, we're gonna disable that. And save. Compress PHT, compress non standard. Probably in the backup is a C drive. Uh, we don't want to do that because that would overload the amount of storage I've got here since this is a VM. Permissions, client, backup window 1 through 7, 0 through 24. So day of the week. And hour of the day archive every blank days enable internet mode requires restart blah 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 and advanced all these settings are really going to be specific to your particular configuration there's mail setup can integrate eventually into LDAP or Active Directory and it says do not expect it to work at this point so not really ready for production use in a company setting but perfect for home use and the price is right client settings interval for incremental backups Image backups, we're going to dis make sure those are disabled. Permissions, okay, so this has inherited the main site settings. We can do separate settings for this particular client. We can add groups. We can look at status. Backups. Okay, so at this point, we're going to jump over to our Windows machine. Those things want to cooperate with me this morning. And we'll see about kicking off a backup. And we'll wrap up this video. And we'll talk more about this in a future video. That is not working today. All right, now we're connected to the Acer and we can start taking a look at the UR backup from the client side and this saying no current backup, last backup run on 120, and that was run to the other server, the other virtual machine. So we'll go to settings and take a look at this bad boy and see what we can do. Maybe. There we go. All right. So, got some options for excluding from backup, image backups, those are not enabled, and internet. So, got through our settings there, and if we just components to back up this is for Windows components specifically we're not going to worry too much about that at this point um, and so let's see restore components infos status not 
connect to internet server, server unreachable. Okay, so I've got a little bit of configuration uh, issues going on here. We'll come back to this in a future episode and revisit and go into a little bit more detail on the configuration of UR Backup. And if you've got something specific that you'd like to see as far as the OMV extras, please let me know and I will try to accommodate your request. Um, right now I'm basically working off from uh, my own interests and just the fact that there was a request for OMV extras. So we've gone through the install, we've done configuration on initial configuration on UR backup. I will get this figured out. We will revisit in another episode. Until then, if you have any questions, any specific requests, please be as specific as possible. Uh, and I will do my best to accommodate those requests and look at uh, what I can with Open Media Vault and uh, configuration requests. Uh, one thing I do want to do in the future, I want to uh, get a Zenchel server set up so that, uh, again, running all on Linux, um, using their implementation of Active Directory via Samba and see if we can't integrate Open Media Vault with Zenchel uh, to provide additional storage and different uh, options that Zenchel may not have by itself. Um, that's going to take a little bit of planning and, and playing first, but until that time, and until our next video, this is Jeremy signing out with Practical IT. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the little bell icon to be notified of future videos. And by all means, leave feedback below and share with your friends. Until next time, have a great day and happy computing.